This simple trading indicator has made me over $100,000 and I guarantee you it is the only indicator you will ever need to be a successful trader. And in this video, not only am I gonna share the indicator with you, but I'm also gonna give you my custom setup and a full strategy from start to finish so that you can finally start making money as a trader. Some of you guys that are traders have charts that look like this. And at the end of the day, you will never be able to take a trade and successfully know exactly where the market's gonna go. It's almost guaranteed you're going to fail. And most of you guys are most likely being told that you need to have have MACD, RSI, the Strat, Bollinger Bands, all these different indicators on your chart at the exact same time because they're supposed to help you take better positions. This is completely wrong. And I can show you exactly why only having one line is going to help you much more than having 15 million different indicators on your chart. So stay tuned. So here's the thing. When you're looking at all these lines right here, you're noticing that there's some that are crossing to the upside, some that are crossing to the downside, all these different lines that are basically telling you to do one thing and some telling you to do the other, and you're not actually able to focus on the chart. This is why we need to only have one indicator on our chart rather than having 15 different indicators at the same time, because we can actually focus on the chart, you will never be able to focus and take a position confidently. So let me show you one indicator that is going to absolutely change your world. All right, so we're going to start with the bear chart here, go over to the indicators tab and type in something called VWAP, also known as volume weighted average price. You're going to add this to your chart right here. Now what you're going to see is two green lines and a blue line with a little cloud in the middle. This is what VWAP looks like at the standard. So essentially this indicator is very simple. It is going to give you an overview of what price action looks like throughout the entire day. It's very similar to a moving average where a moving average basically shows you exactly what the trend is, but this indicator is much smoother and takes volume into account. So when you see a massive candle like this, this is actually being fully represented in this line. And just to be clear, this works on stocks, crypto, Forex. It doesn't matter what market you're trading in. This indicator will work for you. Now, here's the thing, guys. You can use VWAP by default, but I do think that there is a better way to be using it, and that's through the custom setup I'm about to show you. So what you're going to do is head over here to the top left corner and click on the settings button right here. It's going to pop up with this big old menu right there. Now, what you want to do is disable upper band one, disable lower band one and disable bands fill one. This should leave you with a blue line and nothing but a blue line. This is what we're going to be using for our trading. We don't want anything else on the chart. We just want this blue line. What you're going to notice is that this chart is very, very, very simple. And that's exactly what we need as traders. We need to be seeing the chart as simple as we possibly can. And we need to be making decisions based on an understanding of price action rather than just having a ridiculous convoluted chart with 15 million different indicators. This is the way to trade. So now guys, you have the indicator fully set up, but you need to know how to actually use it. Don't worry, I got you. So to make this as simple as possible so that you guys can watch this entire video and get the entire thing down, we're gonna use this white line right here. You are gonna wanna look for two things when you're getting ready to enter with VWAP. You're gonna look for a bounce and a reject or a break in a retest. And this is exactly what they look like. When you're coming up to reject VWAP, you're going to see a move up to the VWAP line and a reject straight off of it. Okay. Now it's the exact opposite when you're looking for a bounce. If the price comes all the way down to VWAP, we see an instant bounce off that line and a continuation up. These are areas that we're looking to enter based on price action. Now on the flip side, our second entry is going to be a break and retest. And as you can see right here, it's gonna look something along the lines of this. We're gonna break, we're gonna retest the VWAP line, and we're gonna continue going to the upside. Same exact thing for the downside, guys. We're gonna come down, break the line, retest it, and then continue to the downside. These are the four things we are looking for when we get to VWAP. So just to give you guys an example of what this bounce is going to look like, when you come up, you are then going to retest VWAP and take the bounce off of it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this later on in the video and it's gonna be picture perfect and you're gonna be taking these sniper entries right at this area, but you just gotta wait. I gotta show you all the other stuff first so that way you know everything. And this here is your reject example. You can see we come up to the VWAP line and we instantly reject that line and head to the downside. By the end of this video, you are going to be using these things and know exactly what's gonna happen and know exactly when to take a position based on them. And of course, guys, you have the break and retest where we come through, break VWAP, we come back up and retest it and fail to continue to the other direction. 
all three of these setups that you're seeing right now, the break and retest, bounce, and the reject are going to be your number one A plus setups. Once you are able to master these three things, you will 1000% become a better trader and I can guarantee it. All right, so now you know exactly what types of setups you need to be looking for. Now it's time to actually implement price action and show you how to get the absolute best setups possible and make a ridiculous amount of money with this strategy. All right, so overall what we're looking for is we wanna be trading at this line, regardless if we're rejecting, bouncing, bouncing, breaking, and retesting, we want to be trading based off this line. You don't want to be taking positions over here because this is not really the smartest place to take a trade. You want to be taking a trade when you're coming up and retesting VWAP. Now, what we're looking for when we get to VWAP is going to be something called a candle failure. And essentially what that means is we want to be seeing this candle right here, try and come down and show enough strength to break VWAP to the downside. If it were able to break this line right here, this would then indicate that we're probably looking to continue to the downward direction. But if VWAP is able to hold and the candle can go back above it and stay above it, this will indicate that we're looking to go to the upside on this position instead. And so for the break and retest, it's very, very simple. What we're looking for is a break in VWAP with volume. As you can see, this candle is massive. So what are we thinking? Which direction do you guys think this is most likely going to go? It's most likely going to go up, right? So when the price of Tesla starts to fail and come back down to the VWAP area, the one thing we want to look at is, is this a failure to continue going lower or are we starting to move to the upside again? And the way that we're going to see that is based on this this right here. This is called a wick. The more your wick is long on this area means that you have insane pressure to the sell side. And the longer your wick is on this area means that you have more buy pressure. So what this means is that the price of Tesla came all the way down here. And by the end of this candle, it has made it all the way back up and is closed at this point. This means that we have very, very high chance to continue to the upside because we tried to break VWAP and we failed it. So now that we've reclaimed this VWAP line right here, we know that we have a chance to continue to the upside. This is where you're going to take the break and retest to the upside direction. Now there's two different places to enter. I'm going to give you the risky entry and I'm going to give you the safe entry on this position. The risky entry here, guys, is when we come down and break VWAP and then reclaim that level again, you are going to enter this position when we break above VWAP and set your stop loss below the low of where we reached when we came down and tried to break to the downside. Then you're gonna set your targets to the next highs and let that trade run from there. As you guys can see, this position ended up going over 400 ticks and it was about a five to one risk to reward trade, which is fantastic. If you wanted to get a safer entry, what you would do is wait for the five minute close to be over the VWAP line. This right here will indicate that we're most likely looking to go to the upside, okay? So when we close above this VWAP line, you want to see a break in the highs to show a continuation to the upside, all right? When you break that right there, you can set your stop loss below VWAP and set your target to the exact same spot, which is going to be to the highs. And as you can see, this position right here, 100% perfect. There was not a single moment when you were in drawdown. Now, here's an example of a reject with VWAP. You're going to notice the exact same pattern coming up. We're going to come all the way down and retest this VWAP line. This is where we're going to start looking to take our trade, but we need to pay attention to one thing. What is the reaction and are we seeing a failure at this line? So like I showed you guys before, what does a failure look like in this position? Are we looking for something like this? Probably not, because what this is going to mean right here is that you are looking for upward pressure. What we need to see here for a reject is going to be a longer wick towards the upside when we retest VWAP. And as you can see right here, we tried to break it, we failed, and then we came back down. This indicates exactly what we talked about earlier, a failure. So you can see here, long wick at the VWAP area. This means that we are seeing a candle rejection. And once we close below that VWAP line, we know that we're most likely going to continue to the downside. Now, the question is, when do you enter? When do you actually get in the position? Very easy answer. Take a look at how price action's reacting after we actually reject VWAP. Look at this candle right here. This right here is a picture perfect example of what a candle failure looks like. You can see small body means that we don't have a lot of volume pushing to the upside. We can also see that this wick is so long to the upside that sellers have an insane amount of pressure. So what we notice here is that we have a massive amount of pressure off of this VWAP line. What does that indicate to you guys? that we're probably going to continue to the downward direction. What you're going to be looking for is a break in lows 
with a stop loss over VWAP and a target down to your lows here. Very, very simple, guys. All we're looking for is a continuation to the trend that we were already going in. So you see here, we have a massive trend to the downside. We're not gonna try and predict that the stock is going to go and flip at any point in time. All I'm trying to do is hop in with the trend and catch one of these moves. As you can see right here, 3.42 to one risk to reward on this trade alone. All I did was wait for price to come back up to the VWAP line and see what reaction we were getting at that level. Were we getting a reaction that looked like we were gonna continue to the upside or are we seeing a candle failure that indicates we're gonna continue to the same direction? Once you get that confirmation, you can enter when you start to see a break in the direction that you wanna go in and take that all the way down to the nearest lows. The reason why this strategy is borderline perfect is because it's all based on price action. The indicator is helping us a little bit, but as you can see guys, we don't have 15 million indicators on our chart. We're looking at one indicator and we're seeing exactly how price action is reacting at that area. And as you guys can see, this is not clouding our judgment at all. So here are some things to avoid when using VWAP. We know that we can enter on break and retest, we can enter on rejects, and it's gonna work perfectly every time, right? No, here's the thing, guys. You have to understand how VWAP works. This right here is a moving average. It's going to tell you what the average volume weighted price is, right? So it's gonna tell you if the price is moving smoothly, it's gonna tell you if the price is moving in a strong trend, or in this case, it's gonna tell you that the price is moving in a flat line. And what that means, guys, is that there's probably not a lot of entries to be found in this price action. When VWAP is a flat line like this, it means that there's not a lot of volume, not a lot of strength in any direction. So while there are some setups, you can see there's one right there where we bounce to the upside. You can see that we have a reject in the beginning of the day. Other than that, there are no setups here. So you want to be avoiding the days where VWAP is just a flat line. Another thing you really want to avoid when trading with VWAP is if you are above this line, you should not be taking positions to the downside. And if you are below this line, you should not be taking positions to the upside. And the reason why, guys, is that this line right here is giving you an overall direction of where the trend is going. And there is a saying that goes, the trend is your friend. And when you're trading with VWAP, this gives you the trend. All you have to do is make sure that you're on the right side of it so that you're not getting caught in areas like this trying to go to the upside when VWAP is very clearly telling you and you just wanna trade with the trend. At the end of the day, guys, you're not gonna be able to take every single break and retest you see on VWAP. You have to make sure that you are following price action no matter what, because that's the most important thing in your trading. Indicators are great, but you need to have price action alongside with it. Just like my student George here, who had made almost $4,000 in two days with this strategy, he did not try and take every single break on VWAP. What he looked for was a perfect reaction, a perfect candle failure that set him up for a move to one direction. For example, something like this where you're seeing a massive move here and a perfect candle setup showing you failure, showing you signs of continuation, and you're able to take this all the way up. You need to be paying attention to price action. I cannot stress this enough. VWAP is a great indicator and the strategy I just showed you can make you a ton of money. But at the end of the day, price action will always be king. That's why I made this video right here going over a 100% price action only zero indicator strategy. This thing has made me so much money. So if you wanna watch that, click the video on the screen now. Later.